Hi, I'm Michael Boyer, Chief Clinical Officer here at Chris O'Brien Life House. As many of you might have heard, we had a false positive COVID-19 test yesterday that caused some urgent changes having to be made in the way we were running the hospital. You might be wondering how a false positive test comes about, and I thought I might try and explain that to you. The starting point is to recognise that testing for COVID-19 is a very robust and well-accepted method. Um, you'll know from watching the media, uh, every single day there are tens of thousands of tests done in New South Wales and probably hundreds of thousands of tests done around Australia. Overwhelmingly, these give us the correct, accurate answer first time, every time. Whenever we get a positive result on a test, it's very important that we go through a process of verifying that those tests occur. And in the pathology departments where these tests are done, they have a process to check that any test result really represents reality. The way we test for COVID involves amplifying small pieces of DNA many, many, many times. And so it's quite easy that if there's even the smallest contaminant, that we can amplify that contaminant and actually get a false reading. When we do get a positive result though, what happens is that the test is repeated, sometimes even using a slightly different method. And if we are truly dealing with a positive result, we would expect to get the same answer over and over again. In the case of the person at Lifehouse, in fact, what happened on that repeat test is that we got a negative result. And so we had one negative, one positive. In that situation, we took all the precautions you would expect us to do within the hospital, but at the same time, it was organised by New South Wales Health to repeat the test using a brand new sample from the person involved. When we got that result, which was negative, and also a further repeat test on the original sample, which was also negative, the conclusion was that the test was really a negative test. Of course, as a hospital, the primary thing we have to focus on is the safety of our patients and the safety of our staff. So whilst we're waiting for that confirmation, we had to take all of the actions to ensure that just in case this really was a positive result, we had protected everybody. And that's why we had so much disruption here. So I apologize to everybody that was affected by that. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand it's done with the safety of everybody in mind, and we hope we will continue to deliver safe, high quality cancer care to everybody that needs it and provide a good, safe workplace for all of our staff.